This lake here has absolute monster trout in it. It's been a bucket list species for a long time. I've been wanting to catch these guys for years. And look at these tracks right here. Man, those are fresh. There are wolves in this area here. Follow, 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 follow. Dude, he was beautiful. He had like a, a brown back on him. Guys, welcome back to another episode. I am up at the Mountain Fishing Farm and we are heading to a lake today to try and catch a trout species that I've never caught before. They're a uh, giant trout. I'm not gonna say right now what they are. I'm just getting ready. I've got the fishing uh, bag already loaded up in the truck. Uh, we just gotta grab a couple of bullet lures that we're gonna take up there. And I've been really busy at the mountain farm, guys. Check this out. In my little uh, shed, I've turned this into like a shop. I built this workbench uh, back here, specifically right here. This is a station to make some bullet lures. Uh, that's right. Uh, I'm going to try and gear up for making a bunch of bullet lures. A lot of you guys have been asking about bullet lures, so I'm going to try and crank out uh, some NWFS care packages for you guys. So stay tuned on Instagram is where I'm going to notify you guys uh, when those guys are ready. But right here, this is how one of those bullet lures starts. Just a little brass case, the bullet. Then I use this machine right here. It's called a, oh, it's not mounted yet. <laughs> it's called a press, a reloading press. And that's where I uh, put those guys together and uh, then get what looks like a bullet right there. And then we've got some little pieces and some tools, super simple. And uh, got these little guys here. Now the lake that we're going to is gonna require that we fish barbless. So I'm just gonna pinch the barbs on the hooks of the bullet lures. There we go. Let's go ahead and get those bullet lures uh, loaded up. Uh, it's already kind of late in the day, so we gotta get going. I have to feed the goats. Chickens are taken care of. Bullet lures in the tackle box. Boom. All right, ready to go to the lake. Hopefully we catch uh, a big old trout because I want to do a catch and cook with you guys because I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm really hungry. Ooh, check out that IBC tote right there. Got that baby for free. It was on the side of the road. Man, maybe we can make like a little fish farm in that or something. I've seen people do like aquaponics or like having little tilapia farms inside an IBC tote. We could maybe do that with some trout. Do like a trout farm. That would be sick. guys we're here this place is absolutely beautiful just look at the massive cliffs covered in pine trees and then right here in front of us a crystal clear giant mountain lake what you can see here is actually only a small cove the lake continues out there for miles and miles and this is actually like really close to the mountain fishing farm I've never fished here though before. We've just been so busy up in the mountain lakes, uh, which now unfortunately are starting to snow in. So I figured why not come here and fish some places close to home. Guys, I'm a little nervous. This lake here has uh, absolute monster uh, trout in it. Man, this has been a bucket list species for a long time. I've been wanting to catch these guys for years. And uh, here we are. Man, it is freezing cold, though. We got to put on a coat, boys and girls. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, Ooh, so much better. Everything's just starting to freeze at the farm. Uh, I built uh, a pump that I sucked a lot of the water out of my irrigation uh, with, but I still need to go and rent like a large compressor to actually blow out uh, my pipes completely just so I don't get any frost damage uh, on the irrigation. So it's just, I've been busy with so many things around the farm, guys. It's not even funny. Just 
if, if you want to have a life, don't buy a farm unless you want that to be your life. That's, that's a life lesson for you. <laughs> There we go. Got to put out uh, my tribal uh, permit. This here is actually on Native American land. So I needed to get a special fishing permit to fish uh, this place right here. It's essentially like a giant nature uh, preserve. There's no roads through most of it, no houses. It's honestly really beautiful. And guys, the water is just so crystal clear that uh, we'd be able to see any fish uh, that come within probably 20 feet from shore. That's amazing. I can look way into the water. What I'm actually thinking we do is uh, let's just get a bullet lure rod ready right away because we should be fishing all of this. I want to work my way uh, out there to some cliffs. Uh, where the water should be a little bit deeper, but you never know. Sometimes trout come into the shallows, like in the last video up at the mountain lake with the brook trout uh, spawning this time of year. I don't know if this species here spawns right now too, or if they come into the, the shallows like that. Now I've got a bobber rod with me as well, but uh, we can't use bait uh, in this lake here. So maybe we could try and fish a fly uh, under the bobber. Hmm, we could try that, but let's try the bull lure first. These little uh, Velcro uh, wraps are amazing for keeping your, your rod tips kind of organized uh, while you're transporting them around. There's a bunch of geese flying around over there. Noisy little buggers. Time to put on the bullet lure. The leader that we're using here is just four pound uh, fluoro. Should be plenty to catch these big fish. We're just gonna have to play them for a little while if we do hook into a monster. All right, bullet lure's on from our, all our little tag ends. We're just gonna throw it right back in our box right here. Let's just, I mean, why not just do a couple of casts right here? I mean, it just, it, it already looks juicy, guys. Okay, here we go. First cast with the bullet lure. Oh yeah, good. A little bit of a breeze, little, little tough to cast against the wind, but that's okay. We're gonna start with kind of a faster retrieve. There we go, nothing on the first bite, that's all right. Yeah, send that baby way out there. What we're actually gonna do is just let it sink a little bit and we'll see how deep it is right here. Well, I think we're already on the bottom. Oh man, he's just spinning it around. So happy in the water there. <laughs> it looks great. Really good presentation. A couple more casts here and then we're gonna move on. Can't wait to get back over there to the cliffs where the water's really deep. Oh, oh, was that a bite? Guys, we might have just had a bite. Did we just bump into something? That was very mysterious. Not seeing anything on the lure. So we might have had a bite. Let's cast back there again. Oh yeah, it's not very deep there at all. We're hitting the bottom within a few seconds, so it's probably only like six feet deep or something. Looks like it's a little deeper here. I'm seeing some boulders in the water, which is always fantastic if we're trout fishing because the trout, they like to have some boulders and logs to hide behind. Oh yeah, still sinking, still sinking. Okay, we're probably talking a solid 10 feet of water out there, 10 feet deep. Could be a trout there. Oh, there's a 
duck right by the, the lure where I cast. Sorry, buddy, I almost hit him. Man. All right, still no bites. That's all right, that's all right, guys. We're just starting. Unfortunately, it's already kind of late in the day. So let's see how much fishing we can get in today. Otherwise, we might need to come back. Here, let's just kind of always move maybe 20 feet, cast a couple times, move another 20 feet. we we'll just kind of work the bank that way, cover a bunch of ground. See if it's any deeper here. Still sinking, sinking, sinking sinking Ooh, hit the bottom a little deeper probably 15 feet and uh, then retrieve wise we're definitely doing a faster retrieve definitely a faster retrieve these are wild big hungry mountain trout they want something to chase do we just have a bite <gasps> oh, oh, oh follow follow big one big one big one big one oh geez i might have spooked him I'm, i think he saw me and got spooked that was a big trout guys he was beautiful he had like a a brown back on him oh man now I'm all excited, all excited here, guys. We know that they're interested in the bullet lure. They are hungry uh, and actively feeding right now. So uh, so that, that definitely gets my hopes up. It's always nice to get a little bit of that reassurance while you're fishing. Oh, did we just have a bite right as it, as it sank? Follow, 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 follow. Guys, guys, big one, big one. It might be the same fish. It might be the same fish. Maybe he knows what's up. Maybe he knows what's up. And just because we could also try one slow retrieve and see if that makes a difference. Maybe it's a little fast form. It's definitely got him interested. Let's go ahead and try and see what happens if we just go real slow. Come on. Oh, no, no, just a reflection. No follow on that one. All right, last cast in the spot, and then we're gonna move on again. All we could try is just maybe jigging the bullet lure a little bit down there by the bottom. See if maybe that gets him excited. I think that trout there, he kinda, he knows what's up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I've seen that lure a couple of times, and uh, you don't trust it no more. Oh, man. Look at that, got us a trophy catch right there. <laughs> that little guy doesn't belong out here. There we go. Man, guys, that trout, I mean, he had to be about, he was, you know, <laughs> now, I, 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 total honesty, probably about somewhere between here. That's a good size fish. The limit at this lake here, I think is three trout. Um, and we're allowed to have one over 18 inches. So, um, yeah, well, <laughs> I'd be happy with one. I'd be happy with one fish at all. All right, let's go ahead and do another couple casts. shadow so hard to tell sometimes I think on this cast here we're gonna try like a really really fast retrieve we're just gonna pull it in pretty much as fast as we can and uh, remember a trout they can swim a lot faster than uh, than we can reel anything in so it's not a matter of whether or not they can keep up with the lure it's really just what speed is it that interests them This spot here is a really steep drop off, it seems. Let's see how deep it is here. Sinking, 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 sinking. Wow, still sinking. All right, we're on the bottom. Let's go ahead and just try kind of jigging it again. 
I feel like just kind of keeping it down there by the bottom. Occasional little little jigs. You can often just drive a trout wild. They'll like dig around in the dirt sometimes too to try and catch something. I've watched them do that in mountain lakes before, so why wouldn't they do that here? We're just gonna kind of act like we're just a little little bug or something like that at the bottom, dancing around. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Not sure. Might be bumping into some rocks down there. Oh man, that, ah, that did feel really good. Oh, there's, there's a trout right there, trout right there. Trout right in front of us. He liked the jig action. Let's just drop it right there. He was right there. Guys, big one, big one, big one. He liked the jig action. And what I'm just doing here is I'm keeping that rod tip nice and low. Uh, that way we're pulling the lure at a shallower angle. Oh, there's the fish on, baby. And we kept it down at the bottom. Oh my God, oh, giant, giant trout, giant trout. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's beautiful and red. Look at the color of that fish. Oh my goodness. That, 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 that. Man, the water's super, super cold. So this guy here, He's got energy, he's got energy, but uh, oh my goodness, get over here, babe. You know, no, he's he's not done yet. I was just gonna say, he's, he's a little, uh, oh, there he goes, he's pulling some drag. Uh, that it's cold and he's kinda, you know, a little lame or something, but. Oh, come here, come here, come here. I've got the drag a little tight. I'm gonna loosen it just a tad, I don't wanna. Uh, stress that four pound leader and don't want him popping off either, but he looks like he's hooked really, really well. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's beautiful. Get over here, baby. Get over here. Come on. Man, he's not making any huge runs, but I also, he's not coming in either. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Got him turned. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's a monster. He barely fits into the net. That is a beautiful, beautiful trout. That bullet lure already spit out. Oh man, look at this fish, guys. What this is, is a Lahontan cutthroat trout. I've never caught one of these guys before. They get absolutely giant. This is my very first Lahontan cutthroat, baby. He's absolutely beautiful. Ah, now the question is, do we want to eat this one here or not? He was not hooked that bad. Uh, he's been in the water the whole time. We could release this one and try and fish for a bigger one. Of course, the question is, I don't know if we're going to still get another one. Ah, oh, man, do we let the first one go or not? That could be a big mistake. <sighs> Guys, you know what? This is a beautiful and healthy fish, and it's my first, very first Lahontan cutthroat. So I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to see if he wants to swim off and and uh, then we'll fish for another one. There we go. <laughs> Look at him. Be all the... Oh man, I might regret that. I might regret letting go that fish, but he was just too beautiful. Man, that's been a bucket list species and I couldn't be any happier with uh, the first example of them that I caught. He just, it's, he was barely hooked and since we're fishing barbless, uh, that bullet lure popped right out. And just look at the sunset though, guys. The sky is beautiful. Man, that was absolutely awesome. Uh, Lahontan cutthroat trout. So what they are is uh, they're obviously in the cutthroat family. You can tell by that red uh, marking under their jaw. I want to say that Lahontan cutthroat are the largest uh, trout in the cutthroat uh, family. Let me know in the comments if you guys know of a bigger uh, species of cutthroat trout uh, or if it is the Lahontan. Oh man, I'm so stoked to finally <laughs> have caught a, a beautiful Lahontan. Let's go ahead and just make a cast right here real quick too. This is a really beautiful spot. Guys, look at this place. 
Look at this, it's magical. So, and he just took it on a fast retrieve. But what we just did do is uh, kept that rod tip really close to the water. That will let us fish uh, that lure a little lower in the water column. If we have our rod tip up here, we're just gonna pull it up to the surface too fast. So you can actually see uh, the lure in the water. Like when I pulled up, the lure was swimming up. But if you put the rod tip down, then the lure kind of sinks a little bit more. So I think that's just what we gotta try and do is stay uh, as deep as possible for these fish because they're cruising around the bottom. Oh, no way, no way, fish on baby, fish on. We got another one, got another one. What is this? Oh my goodness, that, oh my goodness. Guys, that is a beauty, absolute beauty. Is there an, I think there's a second trout following it. There's a second one. He just, he knows that something's up there. He thinks there's food. <laughs> oh, this one's a little smaller, little smaller. It's a feisty one. That's a feisty one. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Guys, what a beautiful spot. Just look at this little cove right here. Just filled with, with gorgeous trout. My goodness, come here. Oh, he's wrapped. He's wrapped. <laughs> Got him. Got him, it's a little spunky one. Look at that, just couldn't resist the bullet lure. Guys, I mean, this is just literally two casts later. Two casts later and there he is. Another beautiful, uh, this one looks like a female uh, Lahontan cutthroat trout. It's actually a smaller one. This here is a good eater size. What I'll probably do actually is uh, take this one here back to the mountain farm. Uh, I don't have any fish right now in the freezer. Or the big Lahontans in this lake, we're only allowed to keep one per day. That's why I didn't want to keep uh, that big one because if we're going to keep a big one and limit out on that one, I want it to be a monster. This one right here though, that's a beautiful eater size. So we're going to go ahead and keep this fish. All right, there we go. Just put uh, that one right to sleep. And uh, let me just show you real quick what I mean by that cutthroat marking. See right there, down by the throat, that red uh, marking right there. They have it on both sides. Um, that right there is how you can tell that it's a cutthroat. Beautiful silver fish, look at that. This is gonna make a wonderful, wonderful meal. I'm gonna keep fishing to hopefully catch an absolute giant. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this in terms of scenery while you're fishing. Look at that, the, the sky is starting to turn like purple, pink and purple, and it's reflecting off the water. The colors right now are crazy. And they're taking it on a pretty fast retrieve. Uh, it's getting really late. The sun pretty much is setting, so maybe it's also triggering something in the fish, making him bite right now. Man, guys, it is getting so cold. My fingers are wet and they're absolutely freezing. There's a little bit of a breeze. It's almost unbearable. I need to bring gloves next time. Oh wow, you can actually see the moon up there as well. On, on the drop, on the drop, baby. That's a, oh, look at those head shakes. Look at those head shakes, that's a big one. Oh my goodness. Come here, baby. Oh, he's making a run at us. Making a run at us. Sneaky, sneaky tactic. Oh. Oh, guys, this feels like a big fish. Oh. oh, it might be the monster. Oh. oh, he's huge. He's huge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's 
beautiful. Oh, that's another gorgeous, gorgeous Lahontan, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not, it's still not the monster that we're after, but uh, let me show you this fish here real quick. I don't want to remove him from the water. We're going to release this one again. Look at the size of that fish. Let's just get that uh, bullet lure out of there real quick. Wet our hand real quick before uh, handling this fish here. Look at this monster. Oh no. Come on, come on. There you go. Bullet lure popped right out. <laughs> and off he goes. Just look at the sky and the sunset. You can see the moon right there. Guys, I can't believe how good the fishing is right here. And, and, and that I've never fished here before. Why have I not fished at this lake before? This is like right by my house, filled with monsters, absolute monsters. He might have been even an inch longer than the first one, but it's not the monster we're after. <laughs> We've still got a lot of shoreline to explore, but we're gonna have to do that tomorrow morning, guys. It's getting dark and uh, we're not allowed to fish uh, here past sunset. And I'd say we are uh, pretty much right at sunset right now. Alright guys, we're all uh, loaded up, so I'm going to head back to the mountain farm, get a good night's rest, and then I will meet you guys again tomorrow, and we'll make this a two-part uh, episode. So of course, if you're still uh, brand new, feel free to subscribe, that way you don't miss the monster Lahontan cutthroat catch and cook. That's what we're going to do, we're just going to come out here and spend some more time uh, with a little more daylight, and we're going to hunt down uh, an absolute monster trout out there by the cliffs. It is so freezing cold out there. I cannot wait to turn on uh, the heat. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, we'll see you then in the next one. That's all I got for you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and oh, happy Thanksgiving before I forget it. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby. You're just a little, little eater trout, and yet it's still bigger than like 99% of the other trout I usually catch. <laughs>